Hey folks, it's Mac again. How's it going, eh? This week, one of the most overlooked cybersecurity controls, people. Yeah, that's right, people. If you're like me, when you think of cybersecurity controls, I tend to think of technical controls and frameworks. Preventative, detective, corrective, physical, cyber, procedural, technical. Don't forget compliance. All right, all right. You need the right cybersecurity team, no matter how large or small. Cybersecurity is a team sport. Hey, if one of your biggest risks is employees, then assembling the proper cybersecurity team is paramount. Cybersecurity team, assemble! Gah! The CyberSec team needs to have a common goal and a sense of purpose. In today's IT world of digital transformation, cloud computing, and sophisticated threat landscapes, these things tend to blur the lines on who does what. Any team with role clarity and well-defined expectations is simply better prepared to handle whatever comes their way. Thanks for that. Captain Obvious strikes again. Seriously though, these are the folks that will interpret the data and then act on that data. This is the team that needs to make the recommendations to help make the decisions to prevent incidents. Red team, blue team, tabletop exercises, they're just as much about team unity as they are about being laser focused and knowing what to do in the face of a threat. <laughs> Good times. Hmm, end users. Well, your cybersecurity program will look to enlist the end users on your team. Beyond the technical controls, cybersecurity training and policy is what can foster a good cybersecurity culture. Why yes, I will enter in my 2FA code because I know the value of good cybersecurity posture. This brings me to a very important people aspect of cybersecurity. It must include the buy-in and support from your company's board and C-suite leaders. A quick demonstration of what no buy-in looks like. Perhaps the best way to achieve some buy-in? Improve the awareness. Provide the stats. Visual reports, light on tech jargon are a must. This is useful in three ways. One, empirical evidence that attacks are occurring all the time. Two, highlight the weak spots as they relate to the risk of business operations. Three, stats on how you can show progress in your cybersecurity efforts. As always, Make it better and move it forward.